Hey guys, it's Lopez, and today I'm reviewing my top Spice Bomb fragrances. We're going to start off this list with Spice Bomb EDT, the OG. This is an eau de toilette. Some of the notes are going to be cinnamon, tobacco, leather, and citrus. What's the duration on this fragrance? Around eight hours. What's the price range of this fragrance? You can find this for under $80 online. And this fragrance is gonna be versatile. You can use this at any time. I'm gonna show you guys how it sprays. And this one is the big boy. Up next, we're gonna go with Spice Bomb Extreme. This is gonna be an EDP, Eau de Parfum. Some of the notes are gonna be spicy, vanilla, cinnamon, tobacco. What's the duration on this fragrance? 10 hours. What's the price range of this fragrance? You can find this for around $90 online. And this fragrance is not versatile. It is best to be worn in fall or winter. I'm sure you guys saw it sprays. Up next is Spice Bomb Night Vision EDP. This is going to be an eau de parfum. Some of the notes are going to be green apple, citrus, pepper, and woody. What's the duration on this fragrance? Around 10 hours. What's the price range on this fragrance? You can find it for under $80 online, and this fragrance is not versatile. You want to wear this in the fall or winter. Let me show you guys how it sprays. Up next, Spice Bomb Infrared EDT. This is going to be an eau de toilette. Some of the notes are going to be fruity, cinnamon, tobacco, red pepper. What's the duration on this fragrance? Eight plus hours. What's the price range on this fragrance? You can find it for around $80 online, and this fragrance is going to be versatile. You can use this at any time. Let me show you how it sprays. And this one is the big boy. And lastly, we got Spice Bomb Infrared EDP. This is gonna be an eau de parfum. Some of the notes are gonna be cinnamon, chili pepper, woody, and leather. What's the duration on this fragrance? Around eight hours. What's the price range on this fragrance? You can find it for under $100 online. Is this fragrance versatile? Yes and no. It is fresh, but then at the same time, it is sweet, leathery. I would say, keep it for nighttime use or fall winter but you can still pull it off in the daytime just spray lightly and one thing i noticed about this one is that it does have some performance issues but other than that it smells great it smells amazing let me show you guys how it sprays if i was to rate these from least to greatest i would go with at number five spice bomb infrared edt at number four it would be spice bomb infrared edp and number three, it would be Spice Bomb EDT, the OG. At number two, I would have Spice Bomb Extreme. And at number one, although it shies away from the DNA for the OG, I would place this one at number one. I just really like the smell, but it does shy away from the OG smell. So the other fragrances, they all have similar notes to the OG, tobacco, cinnamon, all that good stuff. This one does not have any of those, but it still smells great. And as far as the EDT version of this one, it's trash. It smells just like Invictus. And then they have the new version, which is Spice Bomb Dark Leather. It pretty much smells like this, but more leathery. I'll buy it down the road to review it, but didn't catch my attention. Anyways, guys, until next time, this was a review of my top Spice Bomb fragrances. Thank you.